Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, my dear brothers and sisters. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa sallallahu ala sayyidina wa nabiyyina wa habibi qulubina wa tabibi nufusina wa shafi'a dunubina abil qasim al-mustafa muhammad salawatullahi alayhi wa salamuhu alayhi wa ala ahli baytihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin al-ma'asumin siyama baqiyatullah fil alameen. رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله we're witnessing uh, another Thursday night Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, bestowed upon us this great favor uh, that we are uh, listening to the du'ai kumail Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wa salam and remembering uh, the uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and supplicate uh, before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this Thursday night is a very special Thursday night uh, because it's the last Thursday night of Sha'ban and we're entering to the month of Ramadan alhamdulillah there is a sermon which uh, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa on the last uh, Thursday night uh, the last night of Sha'ban uh, gave to his uh, companions and actually this sermon was narrated from uh, Salman alayhi salatu wasalam, one of the great companions of Prophet uh, and uh, Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam. and in this sermon the Prophet is uh, uh, emphasizing on uh, some aspect uh, of uh, Shahrullah, the month of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the month of Ramadan. It's very fascinating the way the Prophet وسلم, is teaching the significance of the month of Ramadan. So, before uh, saying and talking about the sermon, I would like to mention the, uh, the status of Salman uh, in the eye of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu wa salam. Salman was uh, from Isfahan, and he was uh, a non-Arab. And in a society that uh, racism uh, was a common practice, Prophet ﷺ, uh, without uh, any hesitation, uh, he had uh, very close companions from different races, from Bilal, alayhi salam to Salman alayhi salatu wasalam and other uh, companions of Prophet. But the status of Salman is a very unique uh, uh, status. We have a narration, Salman minna ahlul bayt. Salman is one of the ahlul bayt alayhi salatu wasalam. And that's a huge, uh, uh, huge uh, uh, credit for uh, Salman alayhi salatu wasalam. He, he was someone uh, who was very close to Hazrat Zahra Alaiha. He was someone who was present in the funeral of Hazrat Zahra Alaiha. He was someone who uh, was, uh, whenever Hazrat Zahra uh, needed something, she used to call uh, Salman alayhi salam. So this very uh, special and unique individual is narrating this beautiful and profound sermon. Ya ayyuhan nas, innahu qad aqbala ilaykum shahrullah bil barakati wal rahmati wal maghfirah. Prophet say, O oh people, indeed this month is turning toward you and you are entering to the month of Allah with barakah, with blessing, and a rahma and mercy wal maghfira and forgiveness so in this month we have blessing we have mercy and we have the forgiveness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shahrun huwa indallah and this month on the eye of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala afdal shuhur is the best of month wa ayyamuhu afdal al ayyam and its days are the best of days وَلَيَالِيهِ أَفْضَلُ الْلَيَالِي And its nights are the best of nights. وَسَاعَاتُهُ أَفْضَلُ السَّاعَاتِ And its moments are the best of moments. 
I don't know how Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam could, uh, could teach us the significance of the month of Ramadan. It's the month of Allah, it's days, nights, uh, and it's m this month, it it's moments are the best of uh, the moments. So, huwa shahrun du'itum fihi ila tiyafatillah. Very beautifully. This prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to give us the understanding of this month that we can connect our heart with this month. Not only fasting because of this is wajib, right? And I'm waiting for iftar. And I'm kind of like being tortured by this month. So if we want to achieve this level of loving the month of Ramadan, we have to understand this part, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is inviting you to this month. You're the guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَجُعِلْتُمْ فِيهِ مِنْ أَهْلِ كَرَامَةِ اللَّهِ and فَاسُكُمْ فِيهِ تَسْبِيحِ And Allah made uh, this day, this Ramadan, this month in a way that if a good servant of him fast, even he, you know, spent time with other things, his breathing would be uh, glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would do tasbih, dhikr wa naumukum fihi ibadah and his sleep would be as he is praying wa amalukum fihi maqbul and his deeds would be accepted by Allah wa dua'ukum fihi mustajab and your dua would be answered fas'alu Allah rabbakum bayyinatin biniyatin sadiqah so ask your Lord with honest intention. Ask your Lord because He knows everything, right? There is nothing that I can hide from Him. He's the only one who knows all secrets of my life. But He always cover those secrets, right? So make your intention honest before Him. وَقُلُوبٍ طَاهِرَةٍ And pure your heart before Him. أَنْ يُوَفِّقَكُمْ لِصِيَامِهِ With the uh, opportunity and the tawfiq of fasting and tilawati kitabi and reciting his book and his ayat in the Holy Quran. And then the Prophet is uh, in a way very uh, straightforward giving us you know a huge uh, uh, understanding of the significance of this month he said for in the indeed if someone cannot achieve the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi hadha shahr al alim in this great month would be a total loser right if someone cannot get from this month whatever he wants and his forgiveness he is definitely a loser because there are a lot of opportunities even his sleep would be counted as prayer right and that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's bounty and favors upon everyone all Muslims even his breathing would glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right if everything is is in in their hand of his nation, Muslims. So if I cannot achieve his forgiveness, when and where can I get all those opportunities? Of course, we get hungry, we get thirsty, and that's why here the Prophet is continuing, continuing, وَذْكُرُوا And you, when you get hungry or thirsty, remember your hunger and your thirst on the day of resurrection and give charity to poor people uh, uh, respect your elders and have mercy on your uh, uh, youngers and have a good relationship with your relative 
And the prophet is advising about, you know, watching your tongue, right? Because if uh, if uh, if we're fasting, all part of our body should fast. If we are not eating and we're not drinking, right? Our tongue should be fasting too, and his fasting is to uh, uh, is to we can protect our tongue that we don't uh, you know backbite we don't uh, we don't we don't gossip we don't say uh, things that it's not true right false thing all these uh, sins of each part of our body we should avoid from them watch where you look right in general protect yourself in this month because it's a great month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and at the end a uh, few passage uh, further the Prophet is giving us an etiquette about how to make dua when we want to make dua in our prayers first we have to always remember that we have to always uh, make dua after, especially after our prayers um, even uh, if we don't have time, at least a short du'a, uh, ask something from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He likes it. He likes uh, his servant uh, ask him things that they need. وَرْفَعُوا إِلَيْهِ أَيْدِيكُمْ بِالدُّعَاءِ فِي أَوْقَاتِ الصَّلَاتِكُمْ Raise your hand when you make du'a. And look at your hand. You have nothing to offer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't have anything. You're completely uh, in need of his help. And this way, go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and start praying. Don't go in a way that, you know, you want something from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there is no introduction and you just go jump directly uh, about what you want to do. Like a child who goes to their father or mother, you know, asking very directly, without any introduction, directly whatever they want. So don't be like those. Raise your hand and uh, because these moments are the best of moments. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks, looks at his servant on these moments and this month of Ramadan, he would look with uh, mercy and with blessing toward his servant. I would like to end this uh, lecture with, uh, we're going to go uh, a little bit further. And th there is a, here, Amir al Mu'minin alayhi salatu was salam is asking one question, very uh, good question actually from Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But before that, I really recommend you to go and look at this ser sermon com completely because uh, we just went through some of the passages of this very important uh, uh, sermon of Prophet Wasallam in the last day of Sha'bah. At the end of this sermon, Amir al-Mu'mineen wasallam asked the Prophet, قَالَ أَمِيرُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ أَمِيرُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ فَقُمْتْ He stood up, فَقُلْتْ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ مَا أَفْضَلُ الْأَعْمَالِ فِي هَذَا الشَّهْ or the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what is the best of deeds and actions in this great month, the month of Allah? فَقَالْ يَا أَبَا الْحَسَنِ And then the Prophet responded, O Ali, أَفْضَلُ الْأَعْمَالِ فِي هَذَا الشَّهْرِ The best of deeds in this month, الْوَرَعْ and maharim Allah, taking precautions toward the sins, towards things that they, uh, they will bring uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's anger. So, wara in the teaching of Islam is a state that a believer uh, would attain in order to avoid sins. Even in order, in, in order to avoid the situations that will bring sins. Right? So sometimes I'm not sure that if I go there and I know that if I go there, I may commit a sin, right? 
or sometimes if I start doing certain things in between I may go to a situation that will make me uh, or encourage me to do commit a sin so a believer would have wara on those places would take precautions like today people they take precautions right in order to keep themselves healthy even they shut down the school they shut down most of jobs right everyone uh, they are at home they're social distancing because they want to take that precautions that it needed right so the believers will be serious that much even more about their hereafter so they're so uh, uh, so cautious about things that it's haram. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the tawfiq that we can reach his forgiveness on this great month. We pray to the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he uh, give us the knowledge and understanding. We can uh, get benefit uh, and we can uh, get the most out of this great month, the month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. السلام عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته